So this morning I spent four hours at the DMV trying to register my trailer, my Grom, and my new daily. My new daily is anything exciting, it's just another Grandma Saturn just to get me around that I got actually from my grandma a while back. So I really need to get these brakes on ASAP, but the guy won't have them ready till almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna be sitting around pacing until that happens, but let's make some moves. All right, so luckily RJ is a parts manager at GM and I needed a GM intake air temperature sensor still and he was able to source me one for pretty cheap, so I'm gonna go pick it up on the ground since it is now legal. <laughs> All right, so I picked up the new intake air temperature sensor because mine is bad, so I got this from RJ and he had it in stock. So it worked out pretty well. It wasn't that expensive even though it was from a dealer. Boring enough, I've just been waiting around for this dude with the brake swap to let me know when it's all set. He just texted me, it's gonna be a little later than I thought, which kind of blows. I have to get my car done, then drive it and make sure everything else is all set. There could be a million other things wrong with it, but it's just a waiting game. I apologize for this ongoing boring content. <laughs> but I just remembered that Justin finished the pipe for Drew's car, so we're gonna go pick that up right now. So Justin just treated himself into a nice new toy. Yes, the Ducati Monster. This thing is absolute gorgeous. 2013, fast as hell. And I've always wanted to see it next to the Grom and it's so funny. It's like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Well, the pipe came out amazing for Drew's car once again. Thank you very much, Justin. You are welcome. Now I'll leave you alone and go back to my place. The pipe fits perfectly. So now I've seen a coupler and uh, it's all done. Nice. So I've been waiting around anxiously all day for this guy to get the calipers and rotors off of his car so I can put my car back together and finally test drive it. But it's about 7 o'clock now and he finally texted me telling me that he cannot get his lugs off. He has PBM lug, lug nuts and they need a special key and you can't just hammer a socket on them like some. Like some. And it's just, it looks like I'm kind of screwed. So that really, really blows because I was really, really counting on that and I can't find anyone else with a set of calipers and rotors. I'm like five seconds away from taking off the Z. I might do it. That sucks. All right, so Nick and Bobby showed up and they're trying to cheer me up because I am freaking out, but. <laughs> I got them tires though. Yes, Bobby brought me tires. So I'm actually finally getting myself some decent tires instead of some Nankings. And I think out of everything I've done to my car so far, this will probably help me my driving more than anything. So I'm excited. Not so against taking the calipers off my Z, but the problem is it's a 90 TT, not a 91, so it actually has wider brake calipers than the other years, and that makes fitting wheels garbage. So I plan on running the Blitz for a long time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheel off the Z, which I've like never taken that wheel off before, because <laughs> I've never had to work on the Z <laughs> since I put the motor in, and uh, we're gonna see if the Blitz fit. If the Blitz fit, we might send it. I'm gonna send it. Right. So how long has it been since you've worked on this? <laughs> <laughs> the main goal right now is to not scratch these wheels. So yeah, we'll see. The impact is good because I don't want to have to put this back on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so I've stressful. Never, I've never washed it. Oh my god. I, I neglect this car so bad. That is a large brake caliber. So like, so I was not expecting These brakes that. are giant. So the downfall isn't the brake size. These are actually amazing calipers, but the rotors are so small the diameter as you can see it's puny so it brings it so close to the hub which kills your offset and you don't get as much leverage so like a lot of guys probably one of the best brake upgrades you really could do is not going brembos or anything but getting uh 350z cal um 350z rotors the track uh, rotors because they have a lot um bigger of a diameter and it gives you way more leverage and they work amazing so then the blitzes oh boy I wish these are 18. so the problem is if i have to run any type of spacer over five mils these wheels these wheels will not fit this the 240 so that's why i gotta make sure it fits first mm. all right well i have god that, that, see if, if the the ones i'm supposed to, i was supposed to get tonight these are 30 mils the other ones are 25 mils, so that's 5 mil difference, and I need like 7 mils. So, mm, those would be perfect, but he can't get his damn lug nuts off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me put a spacer on that. Alright, so these are 15 mil slip-ons, and it just clears. How much, uh... By like nothing. How much stud is it in there, though? Like none. Like none. 
All right, Bobby, looks like I'm screwed. So you know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna steal Drew's brakes. So I texted Drew and he said it's cool if I borrow his brakes for the event, so. So I'm gonna unbolt all this stuff and I guess put it on my car, which irks me. I'm, I'm super appreciative for Drew, like, to Drew. I'm, thank you so much, bud. I, this definitely kills me though because I am def, I'm the type of person that just likes to do one thing once and do it right so I don't have to do it again, but. Beggars can't be choosers. Something's happening. You gotta do what you gotta do to drift. Heard that. So, you got the Drew's calipers on finally? Yep, you get in there. It's, it's crazy, these are going on like they're meant to be on here. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta finish bolting this down, undo the lines, and then uh, do my favorite thing in the world, bleed brakes. Yes, sir. All right, I'm sorry I've been a whiny little bitch, but I just sent it and put Drew's brakes on, and they'll do for now. Thank you again so much, Drew. But now I have to bleed them, and luckily a subscriber actually sent me a vacuum bleeder. So I'm so sorry I forgot exactly, I completely forgot exactly who sent this, but thank you so, so, so much. I'm so excited to try and use this instead of having to make someone pump the brakes 800 times. So I'm really sorry again, but thank you. All right, so unlike the conventional way of bleeding brakes where you pump it up and you force fluid through it, this actually allows you to just open up the bleed screw and it pulls fluid through it with vacuum. And essentially, if you keep pulling through it, fluid through it, it's going to take all the air out. So I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so Nick and I just did a full vacuum bleed and it feels pretty good. Um, it seems a little iffy. I'm almost concerned my, my booster is bad, but we're going to see. Um, definitely feels a lot better than before. So now there's vacuum on the booster, uh, the brakes are still good, which is awesome news. Now I'm gonna let it warm up and uh, possibly go take her for a small rip. We'll see. We're waiting for the uh, delivery guy to get here. We're both hungry. China. All right, the map is bouncing around a little bit. It's not being super consistent. Um, I think my battery voltage is just trash. I remember last time we tried to tune it, the battery voltage was very low, so the map was kind of throwing all over the place, so I left the jump pack on it and it was fine. So I'm gonna assume for now it's the voltage. The AFRs are good, so my car is not causing any damage. So I'm gonna let it warm up. Hopefully, maybe the alternator will charge the battery a little bit and it might calm itself down. Bye, Jimmy. to go. Alright, so I need a hell of a big alignment. My caster is garbage. I have no steer back at all because my suspension feels trash, like my steering. My caster is so bad it makes my rack feel like it's like blown. But <sighs> that and the, as you probably heard it, the map doesn't like lower RPMs on their load yet. You probably heard me like, rah, rah. Did you, you, did you see me like putting? No. Oh, uh, well, well I, I saw fine. you. I did a donut. Like I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, because, whatever. Whatever, but. The AFRs were really, really safe when I was doing a donut, which is like good because that's what I'll be doing. Yeah. But so far, so good. Coming soon, pineapple yoga pants. <laughs> How do you like them? I love them. Great. It doesn't want to run very well under like 3,000 RPMs, which is fine. Um, we're going to adjust that tomorrow. It seems like the TPS is having a little bit of issue, but we haven't really set anything yet because it's only been idling. So. Um, Tomorrow is a big tune day. Everything seems to be pretty good. I'm really impressed with the way it feels. Like when I'm doing a casual pull past three grand, it actually feels like the turbo is pulling very easily. I could definitely notice the, the mid mount intercooler kit. But the big problem right now is my alignment feels like trash. But my toe feels fine, but my caster feels all sorts of off. I have really poor self steer, so I gotta mess with this a lot back and forth and uh, figure that out. So baby steps but we got a lot to do tomorrow tomorrow is Steffi's birthday so everyone wish Steffi a happy birthday <laughs> there it goes thanks to Drew I was able to get my car on the road today uh, it's running a little rough but once it's going it's going pretty good so tomorrow we're gonna go heavy on the tuning uh, make sure it's really dialed in down low and then correct the fuel map up high because it it could it could uh, 
could definitely use a little bit less fuel up top, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. Um, I have to play with my suspension a lot up front tomorrow because my self steer is pretty trash right now, but I think I corrected it a little bit tonight, but whatever. So I'm going to call it for tonight, but you guys know how it goes. Birthday girl, do you want to say goodbye? Like, comment, subscribe. No, you got to come closer. Oh, no. All right, Steffi. Like, comment, subscribe. Say happy birthday to me. Boom. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Pick it up on the ground since it is now legal. <laughs> Alright, so I picked up the new intake air temperature sensor because mine is bad. So I got this from RJ and he had it in stock. So it worked out pretty well. It wasn't that expensive even though it was from a dealer. Boring enough, I've just been waiting around for this dude with the brake swap to let me know when it's all set. He just texted me it's going to be a little later than I thought, which kind of blows. I have to get my car done, then drive it and make sure everything else is all set. There could be a million other things wrong with it, but it's just a waiting game. I apologize for this ongoing boring content. <laughs> But I just remembered that Justin finished the pipe for Drew's car, so we're gonna go pick that up right now. So Justin just treated himself into a nice new toy. Yes, the Ducati Monster. This thing is absolute gorgeous. 2013, fast as hell. And I've always wanted to see it next to the Grom, and it's so funny. It's like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Well, the pipe came out amazing, and it's just, it looks like I'm kind of screwed, so. That really, really blows because I was really, really counting on that and I can't find anyone else with a set of calipers and murders. I'm like five seconds away from taking off the Z. I might do it. That sucks. All right, so Nick and Bobby showed up and they're trying to cheer me up because I am freaking out. But- <laughs> I got them tires though. Yes, Bobby brought me tires. So I'm actually finally getting myself some decent tires instead of some Nankings. And I think out of everything I've done to my car so far, this will probably help me for Drew's car once again. Thank you very much, Justin. You are welcome. Now I'll leave you alone and go back to my place. The pipe fits perfectly. So now I've seen a coupler and uh, it's all done. Nice. So I've been waiting around anxiously all day for this guy to get the calipers and rotors off of his car so I can put my car back together and finally test drive it. But it's about 7 o'clock now and he finally texted me telling me that he cannot get his lugs off. He has PBM lug, lug nuts and they need a special key and you can't just hammer a socket on them like some, like some. So this morning I spent four hours at the DMV trying to register my trailer, my Grom, and my new daily. My new daily is anything exciting, it's just another Grandma Saturn just to get me around that I got actually from my grandma a while back. So I really need to get these brakes on ASAP, but the guy won't have them ready till almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna be sitting around pacing until that happens, but let's make some moves. All right, so luckily RJ is a parts manager at GM and I needed a GM intake air temperature sensor still. And he was able to source me one for pretty cheap, so I'm gonna go